Alrighty, top of the morning to you. Um, August 16th, um, 7 a.m. in the morning. Actually, somewhere between 7 and 8. I'll do a quick video here of our setup at nighttime. So, here's our unit. Sun's not fully up, as you can see in the background back there. But yeah, this is what we wake up to. A lot of times it's a nice little park we take a little walk in things like that you know a little facility for using restrooms washing what cups and things that we do use but what we do is we put plastic bags over top of the window we have a sunshade we use in the front window and then we pull down all the shades around around the unit this is the unit we're taking in uh, Oklahoma City. This is the other unit Dawn's taking. When I say we, Dawn's taking this one, and I am taking that one. So, there's a quick overview of how we set up for night, and then we'll go inside and we'll do the inside, show you what the inside looks like. Alrighty, open up the cockpit door here. And what we have inside, and, we, and the magnitudes, they always stick plastic down inside the floorboards for you. So that way, uh, truckers are getting a little loud there. As I was saying, they stick plastic in the floorboards for you. So that way, um, you don't mess up the floorboards. Of course, I throw trash pa uh, regular paper trash down there and they collect it at the end of the trip. Alrighty. We have, this is a rear view camera for the back of the unit. So it's just like if you was looking in a rear view mirror, um, gives you a full view of what's going on out back. I have my dash cam set up and then my inter internal cockpit um, cam set up. We have a TPMS, tire pressure monitoring system for the car. So that way we know exactly what the tires are doing in the car. Um, internal radio which has navigator and things like that on it however we use the Garmin 1090 and that helps us um, stay within RV locations and and that way we don't have to worry about getting on the wrong road of uh, something that would something that Google will take you to or um, the interior navigation system will take you to which would be roads that have low bridges or um, places that you should not be at overweight wise and things like that um, so that's what this Garmin RV 1090s for um, the tire pressure monitor and the Garmin 1090 were bought from Techno RV they were very helpful um, guidance wise in helping us understand what the items do. Uh, when I asked to do a comparison between the Garmin diesel and the Garmin RV uh, my, um, navigation system, they were not able to give me a lot on the diesel, but they gave me contacts to find out what's the difference. And that right there alone was a, was a tremendous help. Um, I'm not going to get into Garmin's explanations on what the, really the differences are, but I'll tell you the way I interpreted it was that the Garmin diesel was built and then the Garmin RV was built. I'm not sure that's how I, how I how it's correct if I'm correct on that, but I do know that the Garmin RV has all the features that the Garmin diesel has in it, um, from what I understand. Now, if then we also have two um, sets, and that is two sets. That's one set there, and then Dawn has a set inside her RV. And the reason why we carry two sets of walkie-talkies is so that way we can communicate. And if one goes dead, we have a way of charging it because you only get one charger when you buy a set. So that was the purpose of doing that. Instead of just going out and buying another charger, we decided to go ahead and buy two sets. And if something breaks or something happens, then we've got a backup. No. Redundancy is a key here. And, of course, there's the box of snacks that Dawn always sets up for me. It has pretzels, nuts, sometimes potato chips. There's uh, 
a, uh, I don't want to say fitness bar, but a snack bar with protein in it, in, in there. Uh, usually there's two or three of those. We also have a Best Tech um, 12 volt plug in. It plugs in right there. And then the Best Tech uh, has three plugs on it for 12 volts and then four plugs on USB, USBs. So there's that set up for the cockpit. Now, as far as in, inside here, there's a bed that's over top of the cockpit. However, we don't sleep on it. We do use it for storage. We do put some stuff up there. Now, usually there's a couch here. And you can see we got our medicine stuff sitting there, our medicine bag, and then some of our Horizon stuff. The uh, And then this is where the dinette would be. But we shrink it down, and we both sleep right here. I'm not going to get into showing you the rest of the unit or anything to that effect. You, can guys, you guys can go to the manufacturers to see the rest of the unit but this is our setup this is how we do our stuff um, and let's see here I'm trying to think what else is there um, Dawn's right now heating up her coffee and drinking her coffee and then we uh that, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think. I'm completely lost for words right this moment. Hate that. But anyway, peace, love, and jelly beans, people.